Welcome Capricorn to your May Astro Dice reading. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay. And for those of you who are new, this is where we take Tarot with Astrology and make a small horoscope for the month using only one of the 12 houses. So let's see what's going on with you, my friends. Best messages coming out. Ooh, we have some Neptune energy coming out, going straight into the third house with some Sagittarius. Third house, learning something. What are you learning? You're learning something. Okay, so having some Neptune energy. Neptune, Neptune, Neptune. Your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. And doing it Sagittarius style. Got some good luck coming in right there. That's that Jupiter energy coming in. This energy abuses power, superior confidence, enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. Going straight into the third house. Talk about your potential to learn something and your local neighborhood. What are you learning? Ooh, curiosities. Already got my cat. Okay, getting straight in here. We have the situation. The situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, middle of the month, end of the month. That's what's going on, Spirit. Let's go. out is the page of swords talking about curiosity <laughs> i just said curiosity's got my cat yeah and there's that curiosity it looks like you have the curiosity too <laughs> okay so we have curiosity let's see the emperor Ooh, and the five of wands wow hmm what in the world is going on over here my friends Okay. Well, you have to express it. There's a lot of focus on a lot of... <sighs> could be a thirst for knowledge also going on because of that curiosity. And we're talking about what you're going to learn. So it does look like you're trying to learn something. You're very curious about something that's going on. Some Something about where conflict is coming from. Why? Right? Why? Why am I so worried about this conflict? Mm-hmm. Well, well, it looks like you might have this emperor around you. It could be the boss. It could be a husband, dad. It doesn't even have to be male. It could be female. But you have this authority type figure around you. It could be older than you. But it looks like you're trying to figure out why this person is causing so much conflict. That is exactly what you're doing. Why? Why? Why are you causing all of this conflict, all this strife? Why are you giving me tension? Why do you want to argue about petty things? So arguing around petty things, but it's got you on your mind if you're trying to figure out why they want to do such things. Why? Sounds like a small five-year-old. Like the five-year-old. Why? Why? Why is the bee so big and his wings so little and he can still fly? It just feels like no matter what's going on, you're trying to figure out. There it is. Thank you. Curiosity is why are you trying to win at all odds? Why are you trying to argue with me about everything? Why do you have to be right about everything? Why are you disagreeing? And why are you disagreeing to, it's almost like uh, we're agreeing to disagree. Why do you want to take my swords away? How come every time I do something right, you want to step on my toes and try to show me up? Take it how it resonates. And you really want to know. But it's crazy because it does sound like, what does it say? Your potential to learn. You're going to learn why. Oh, you're going to learn why. They come in speedy. They come in sharp. They come in nasty. They come in tongue flying with swords. If their tongue was a sword, it would sword you, right? And it probably does. That's called verbal abuse. Verbally attacking me. Having something nasty to say to me. Stepping on my toes. Being impulsive, but this is not just the impulsive to need to be driven for success. This is impulsive as an aggressive 
unpredictable. I have no idea what direction you're coming from. Why? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Trying to get some kind of uh, reconciliation out of the situation, but all it comes out of is lack of passion. Ace of Wands in reverse. I'm not going to wave my white flag because I can't understand. I, how are you going to even, let's just go here for one second in serious light, right? In seriousness. You're probably so damn confused, right? You can only imagine like where do I, it, it doesn't matter if it's a white flag, red flag, it don't matter, right? Where am I going to, or how am I going to wave a white flag when I don't even know what the hell is going on? Because in seriousness, you're confused to why they're acting so aggressive. You're confused to why they're doing this. They could, it could be just literally bullying. And I really wish that the emperor would have been in reverse, tell you the truth. But I understand why it's coming up. It's coming up because this is probably a person who has um, maybe respect on the job. Could be a wealthy man, woman. Don't worry about the gender, please. Okay is a very disciplined person, a person who may even have a lot of people working under them or, you know, or be a father figure, something, mother figure, something, something big, right? So he has to sit on his throne and maybe that's where they want him to be. Maybe they really want him on his throne anyways, right? Because they're showing this power and it's not only showing the power, but it's showing that they're taking that power and throwing it at you and they're abusing the power. Sorry, that's exactly what it is. And man, if I have to cut this video, guys, if this video is cut because of the A being, then just remember that was because I used that A B word. It rhymes with muse. Now add the A B, right? <clears throat> Praying it doesn't, but it used to in the past, but lately it's been doing okay. So, anyways, we have, yeah, it's causing you lack of energy and motivation. So, in seriousness, I'm not going to wave the white flag because first I'd have to understand why I'm waving it. Yeah, I want a reconciliation, but first I have to get out of confusion why I even need to do so. Oh. So, in the third house, you're learning that they're very competitive, that they're doing these things, Right? Empress is a reverse. They could be cheating. I just want you to know that. They could be treating you this way because they have somebody else. But it's not for everybody. But I have to bring it up because this is the Empress in reverse and that's talking about infidelity. Okay. They're acting very selfish and overwhelmed. And in actuality, I don't really know what else to really say about the Empress in reverse except for the infidelity and callousness, really. Right? Because in seriousness, I mean, selfishness. I mean, it could be self. I mean, because really the inference upside down is only infidelity and really selfish, non nurturing. Really think about those things, right? Thinking about themselves, kind of egotistical, right? I only care about what I care about. But otherwise, I don't really. Uh, better give me another card on that one because otherwise I'm going to have to say they're cheating, guys. The only other thing I can think of is that they're, you know, there's a lot of love going around. They're not paying attention. They're ignoring the affections of the ad admirer. Yeah, that's what it would say. But that's, but that's not, I mean, that would be different if they were ignoring. They're not. They're stepping on your toes. They're, you know, if this is a love situation, I, I just, they're cheating. Or they're just too much in their own head and they're acting like, you know, they're too egomatic at this time and they're just very selfish. Take it how it resonates. That's all, that's all I got. If it's somebody else and it's not a love, then it's just all about me, me, me syndrome. Selfish. I don't want you to feel anything because they don't want you to feel anything anyways. Selfishness and jealousy, Queen of Wands in reverse. Oh my God, what is going on? Wait, hold on a second. Can I, we're going to back up the train just here for a second. Okay, it's not going to be for everybody. If it's not you, go ahead and throw that away. They may, this may be because maybe you have a friend. Now they may think you're cheating. 
because there's jealousy here or so they may think you're cheating with a Leo could be or a Virgo Libra Taurus Capricorn whatever anybody Gemini I have to pull more cards on that because the only other thing I can see here, guys, it really, my intuition is saying that they may think you're cheating and they're jealous about this. So they're acting very self-centered and very self selfish about the situation because they really think you're cheating. They think you're deceiving them and that you're cheating on them. And then because I have the lovers in reverse, they think you're detaching from them and you're cheating on them. So they have this fear of wanting to commit to you because... Or stay committed to you the way that you were because they think you're cheating on them. Otherwise, the only thing I have is they're cheating on you. That's it. I. That's it. I, I don't have nothing else. That's it. That's the way it has to be. <laughs> they're, like, I don't see anything else. I mean, if you know there's something else and you already figured it out, or you figure it out by the end of the month what it is, then you go with what feels good to you and you know what it is, right? But in this reading, whoever I'm picking up on, it's literally one or the other. The fear of change. There, yeah. There's either fear that, that you're cheating or they are cheating. But look, you're learning something. You're not going to learn that you're cheating. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, we're not going to take you to this reading and say you're cheating. You already know that if you, is you I'm telling you, they're cheating. Plain and simple, they're cheating. I am going there. Because you're the one learning it. You're not going to go to a reading and be like, and I just learned that I'm cheating. Okay, well, that doesn't make any freaking sense. This is a cross watcher, but not to you. A cheating within a marriage. That's it. I, I'm... For some of you, you might even just had a new baby or going to have a baby and they're cheating. Yeah, look at that. See? Disharmony. Home conflict. The sun with the ten of pentacles. And you're just going to go out and do what you're going to do. That's it. That's it, guys. I mean, really, that's it. On the brighter side of the note, you're going to find your own comfortable spot. Okay, the breakdown of this reading is, I'm just going to say it. They're cheating. You just have, you're, you're either in a marriage or you might have just got married or you're in a proposal and they just proposed to you or you are waiting for a proposal and you found out they're cheating or you just had a baby or getting ready to have a baby. Okay, and, or they got their, oh my God, don't say that. Or they're cheating and you're going to find out they just got this person pregnant. Oh, shit, Jerry Springer. I haven't had a Jerry Springer read, reading in a while. Oh, my God. You might be finding out there they just got somebody pregnant. Or you might find out that this person, the reason that they're pushing you away is because they're already married. What in the... F oh, my God. I don't like these kind of readings when they're small like this because this is just a horoscope. And it's not a regular reading. I'm not supposed to go super long. But I'm telling you right now... Clarify on the Ace of Cups. Oh my God. Thank you, Spirit Man. I just... Are they proposed to somebody else and they're... Why did the... Oh, I hate this reading. I want to throw this reading away. <sighs> Carelessness. Carelessness. I'm telling you, somebody just got somebody pregnant. Bad luck, resist to change, negative cycles, emotional baggage, unfinished business. What the? Oh my God. You're going to be so cold. See, it's kind of crazy because right now you're trying to figure it out, right? You're trying to figure out why they're acting this way to you. This is because they have somebody else. And they may have gotten somebody pregnant. They may have even gotten drunk. I'm not even kidding. May have gotten, get, 
gotten drunk and told this person they're going to marry them. They want to have their baby, something crazy, something super Jerry Springer. Okay, and you're going, what the, you, you said what? Some of you have, some of you are married to this, this person. Some of you are married and you have a family. But they want to leave. And so you're going to clear the boundaries with them. As soon as you figure out, how are you going to find out? Come here. Oh, by the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles coming in slow. Clarify on who's going to tell, who's telling, who's telling the story. How's this coming out? Page of Cups coming out. Is going to make you feel exhausted. That's there. It is justice in reverse, judgment in reverse. Okay, so you could have, I would say, the Knight of Pentacles coming in slow. He's the one that's going to give out the advice. He's the one that's going to give out the news of the disappointment news. Okay, so. The, <clears throat> So it could be a Taurus, it could be a, a water sign. And this is why they're acting self-centered. They're saying they're acting self-centered because, oh my gosh, because they're in a relationship with someone else. Sorry, that's exactly what it is. There's a lot of dishonesty. Okay, but in the end of this scenario, you're going to have the blessing of the sun coming in with the Ten of Pentacles after you clear your boundaries and you let them know that you know what's going on around the situation. It's going to weigh in on difficult decisions of what you need to do, but overall you'll get the Ace of Pentacles with this, this abundance coming in, this opportunity. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is all about distrust, breakup, bad communication. So, yeah. And Queen Queen of Cups in reverse. There it is again. Jealousy and infidelity. Unfaithful. Well. Okay. That was a very disappointing reading. I am so sorry for you guys. I, I hate these kind of readings, but... Don't kill the reader, please. I just do my job. You needed to know the truth, and there's the truth. As they say, you know, this truth will set you free. And if you know that this is not your reading, don't make it fit, please. <laughs> if you know that this is not your reading, do not make it fit. It is not for you. It is meant for someone who is looking for the answer. Okay? Um, can we at least... Spirit, at least give them something good, like finances or something. Oh my gosh. Let me give you something else over here, my friends, okay? I mean, that's just, I don't want to leave you like that. Show me, Spirit, what's going on in their finances. Something good. Show us the good stuff. Show me the good stuff. Something they need to know about that's good. How about that? Okay, so after all the crap that you're going through and all the worry and, and all that stuff, you, you are going to have the difficult decisions, but you have the Ace of Pentacles. Here it goes again. It's still there. You still have the work and you still have good things coming. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, but, you know, and you're going to have a little bit of exhaustion. But what you don't see coming, oh, thank you, what you don't see coming is the Three of Wands. Ooh, I like that. This is some kind of enterprise, some kind of a preparation and progress that's coming, and you're moving towards this situation as you're expanding, okay? And you're expanding because you're walking away from a situation, and as you're walking away from the situation, you're abandoning it and withdrawing from that situation, right? And saying that you will have victory. So if we look at this in a in a, a light also of finances, it's saying, hey, look, on the bright side, you know, you have the you're going to have the right timing. You have a lot of intuition coming through. People are going to ask you, right, for you to take the high road, right? Don't worry about everybody else. Stick to what you know best, okay? You have a lot of goals and you're building, you know, you're still building up your finances, right? Or on your way to build up your finances. 
okay? So very nice, right? It says within this situation, right, you're gonna have kind of like the Midas touch, everything's gonna be fine, right? There won't be huge big promises coming, but at least you're gonna be in the limelight of recognition, okay? And you're gonna continue to keep going forward. Okay, so you're going to profit and you're going to have, you're going to see prosperity in the near future. Okay, as you're building a better solid foundation. Okay, I like that. So on the good news, what you don't realize is, is that you'll end up with your own resources and produce what is needed to pay off what you need to pay off. So there will be a payoff, but they, you know, it's because you have the victory, right? So stay in your highest knowing because you're going to see it all coming together when it comes to your money and finances in the end. Okay, so there is success guaranteed in the end, but it's just going to take a while because you're getting to through a milestone. Okay, so unfortunately, because of the milestone that you're kind of going through right now, you might feel like there's kind of a lack of, right? And that's because of the five of pinnacles. But otherwise, like I said, what you don't see coming is, you know, things are kind of, you know what it kind of feels like as a pressure cooker, right? It's kind of like everything's in a pressure cooker and then it, boom, it just pops and then everything is fine. Everything's wonderful, okay? It's not gonna explode in the wrong ways. It's actually the pressure of the pressure cooker in this one is I have so much intensities, so much like, oh my God, you know? And then all of a sudden, boom, it explodes and you get all these good earnings and financial decisions are being made and you're attracting all the right types of people and places and things around you. And we see that with the three of wands. Okay. So on the good hand, there's your reading. Um, good luck to you, all of you. Until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.